Hey everybody, Johan Magnuson here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're making a crazy cool dish. Today we're making a smoked lamb head pozole on a pits and spits offset smoker. So the first thing that I would like to do is light up the smoker, and here's how we do that. The first thing that we want to do is add a couple of pecan wood sticks to the pits and spits offset smoker. Then we want to turn off the propane starter, and then we're going to start up the fire. When we have a good fire going, we can add a couple of more sticks, and we need to keep the smoker at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Now when the smoker is getting up to temperature, it's time to season the lamb head. We got two beautiful lamb heads here, and the only thing we want to do is we want to season them all around with our Big Sweet Barbecue Badass Texas Boost. Then we want to let them sit for a while while the smoker is heating up to allow the seasoning to adhere. The lamb head are seasoned, so it's time to put them in the smoker. Now we're going to smoke these for about three hours. And halfway through the cook, we want to flip them over. The lamb head has now been in the smoker for about two and a half hours, and they are looking amazing. So now it's time to start preparing the uh, pozole. We want to open the lid to the burn chamber. Then we're going to place a heavy duty cast iron Dutch oven on top. We want to add a stick of butter and let it melt. Then we're gonna finely dice up two large yellow onions. Then we wanna add this to the Dutch oven. Now we're gonna sweat the onions and then we're gonna add about four cloves of finely minced garlic. And now we wanna saute this until the onion starting to brown. We're gonna add about six dried bay leaves. And we also wanna add a couple of tablespoons of dried Mexican oregano. We want to remove the lamb's head from the smoker, and then we want to add these into the cast iron pan. Now we need to add about 12 cups of beef stock. We also want to add a can of diced green chilies. We also want to add a couple of tablespoons of crushed chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Now we need to cover this and bring the mixtures to a simmer and we're gonna cook this for about three to four hours. We want to turn the head occasionally to ensure even cooking. Now, while we're waiting for the lamb head to really infuse with a pozole in it and give it a lot of great flavor, it's time to make a guayillo paste, and here's how we do that. We want to add five ounces of dried guayillo chilies to a cast iron pan. Then we want to place these in the smoker and toast for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, remove from the smoker, let them cool, break them open and discard the seeds. Now we need to put the chilies in a blender and we also want to add about three cups of hot stock from the pozole. And then we're going to puree this until smooth. The gallo paste is now ready, so it's time to add it to the pozole and then we're gonna finish up this dish. When the meat is really tender, we wanna remove the lamb heads from the Dutch oven, and we're gonna let them cool in an aluminum pan. When cool, using gloves, remove the meat from the head. Make sure that you include the tongue, but peel it beforehand. Then we're gonna take all this beautiful meat and coarsely chop, and then we wanna add the chopped meat back to the soup. Now we also need to add three cups of Mexican white hominy, and then we wanna cook this until the hominy is heated up. When ready, pour some of the lamb's head pozole into a bowl. Then we're gonna serve this with some lime wedges, radishes, avocado, cabbage, some grated queso fresco, and some fresh cilantro. And that is how I make my smoked lamb head pozole on the Pits and Spits offset smoker. And I think the only thing left to do is to try this and see what it tastes like. And trust me when I say this, it smells absolutely amazing. So here we go. Look at the color, and here we go. Wow. So rich, so flavorful, got a little bit of heat, but it's perfectly balanced. And you can really taste the smoke coming through as well. This is really good. I hope you try it at home. Happy grilling.